I am so delighted that you all joined us here today. And my first thanks goes to Jake Bear of Newell. Thank you so much, Jake, for hosting this party for us and inviting all of us to your beautiful space. And thank you. And to Andrew Joseph and his team for helping us organize it. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to be a little like the Oscars, where they pull out the paper and you all go, you've got to be kidding me with that list. But this <laughs> podcast is sort of that significant, what's happened in the last year with this podcast, that it requires a list like this. Okay, so the very first person on this list is this gentleman right here. Yes, please come over here. This is... <laughs> I'm her date. <laughs> I'm her standing. <laughs> this is the Vin Man. This is my husband, Vincenz. And everything always starts with you and ends with you. That's why I like it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the reason that I wanted to specifically th thank Vinny is because I hatched this idea. And I know this man. And you all know, if you listen to the show, that he's business, and he loves me desperately, but good ideas that don't make money, they're not happening. <laughs> and so when I presented this idea to him, he understood the value of it. And Billy, where's my, our partner Billy? He's back there too, thanks to him too. Because, um, like Billy said, after about three or four months when the podcast was up and running, he came to me and he said, you know, you've had a lot of ideas in 30 years. I think you finally hit one. <laughs> so I thank both of them for believing in it and understanding it. And I do have to say that each of them, when I first told them about it, the first thing that each said was, what is a podcast? So it was a big explanation, and they got there, and thank you. Okay. All right, now I have to thank this little lady right here. This is Kimberly. So you all know Kimberly if you listen. And you all know how important she is to me. And um, from every standpoint, from personal, from professional, I lean on her like I, like I can't believe she still stands sometimes because I lean on her so much. But she's very, very talented interior designer in her own right. And we're so grateful and lucky to have you. And all the different ways that you make window works and, and my life better, I can't enunciate it. Thank you so much. And she's not our I know. <laughs> Okay, next is Kravit. Where is Will Hunt and Maria? Back here. So everybody, this is Will Hunt Lewis. He is the Senior Creative Director of Kravit Inc., of Curated Kravit at Kravit Inc. And again, I, 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 I'm sorry if I'm repeating things that you've heard on the podcast, but I know that everybody, the only people who have listened to every podcast I know for an absolute fact are me and my Uncle Bill and Aunt Gretchen. <laughs> so even my husband hasn't. <laughs> so um, curated Kravit and Kravit Inc. If you haven't heard the story, you need to hear it because it's a testament to Kravit. I approached them on sponsoring the podcast before I had even one episode recorded. I explained to them the concept. I explained what I expected it to do and what I expected it to create and what I expected and hoped it would do in the interior design industry. And when I tell you literally, they got the email on, fr on Monday. On Tuesday, they asked if we could have a conference call. On Friday, we had a conference call. And on the following Monday, they signed up for the sponsorship. And it is not a testament to me because there was nothing for me to show them what I could do. It was because they believed in helping interior designers make better businesses and grow more profitable businesses. So Will Hunt, home run. Thank you. <clears throat> OK, and then of course we have Cherish. And we have Business of Design. Uh, Anna Brockway and Kimberly Selden are not with us tonight, but they send their regards and their thanks to all of you for the business that you've brought to them. And of course, again, we know their platforms are amazing for you guys. Then we have Sarah Danielli, who is the CEO of My Doma Studio. She flew from Ottawa, Canada. She landed this afternoon. She has a 9 o'clock flight tonight to be here with us. So... 
Um, and if you're not familiar with My Doma Studio, an amazing software platform to help you run your businesses. And what I love is that you can um, send out your invoices, logo to your own company, and that you have the back end that's private for your office with all of your costs and everything, and then the, the public end that goes to your client. And here's what I really love about it is your client can pay you through My Doma Studio. So you're not chasing invoices and chasing money because it's not a hobby, folks, right? Okay. Um, all right. Now, I have to get to my list. Just make sure I forget anybody because I know who else I want to guess. Okay. So before I get to you special people, I want to thank Room 2 Productions, my Uncle Bill and my Aunt Gretchen, who are the people that make this podcast sound amazing. And um, I know that we have a standard for the podcast. I can tell you that their standard is higher than my standard, which is really awesome because they have my back. And I know that we've had a lot of times, we would say a lot of times, we're like, ah, oh, that little sound and that little this and that little that. But I'm also, as I'm in your industry for interior design, I'm in the industry with podcasters. And literally every single week, somebody in the podcast industry compliments me on our sound. And so that's because of these guys. Thank you. All right. Now it's you people, okay? It's my guests that have been on the show. You are the ones that make this show what it is. It's your information. It's the insights that you share. It's that you're willing to be vulnerable. It's that you crack me up. <laughs> it's that you teach us. I mean, all of you have just really, truly made this such a valuable resource for all of your colleagues and it's because of what you share with all of us thank you and then it's the listeners and we have listeners here today in addition to guests and you guys are like unbelievable that you show up every week and you listen and you tell me on Facebook and Instagram and every emails thanking you know us for what we're doing and for the content that we're creating I mean there's little baby designers out there that send me emails that are like I'm only in business six months and you can't understand how you've changed my world and you know and it's it's just so really awesome so I just have to say truly unbelievable this is the first year where we're going from here guys on the ride with me thank you I appreciate it so much okay Jake Bear, let's give, as please ask you to take five minutes and tell all the interior designers here exactly what your company does and how you can help them in their projects, okay? Because it's all about business, right, buddy? Oh, yeah. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Tell us about Newell and what you do. Uh, yeah, yeah. And how you make everybody's life well, you know, Great. it was just such an you know honor to be on the podcast. You know, you know, just kind of just seeing where Newell is now and where we're able to kind of, you know, evolve and what and what we're doing and the changes that we're making. You know, just to service so many different interior designers, set decorators, prop stylists. You know, just people that just want to experience just unbelievable furniture. You know, ranging from all different types of styles and period. You know, just that's really what it's all about. You know, and just finding new ways to just get this type of, you know, unbelievable merchandise, you know, if I say so myself, uh, to, 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 uh, to, to um, you know, to, to you guys and just really, you know, just experimenting and doing a lot of fun things, you know, and just really kind of bring, you know, the community together. I mean, like I said, just being on your podcast, you know, I was just thinking about some of the things that I was saying and re-listening to what I was saying. I was like, Everybody's you know, <laughs> you know, and, and, it's, and it's just like, you know, it's it just, it's just really just, it was kind of just, just speaking it and feeling those words, I always write it down. I have all these lists that I do it, but just being able to speak it and portray it to how I want it to be done was such an honor. It just it was such a an amazing experience. I know this is you know hopefully not going to be the you know the last no. podcast. You know I really had a lot of Absolutely. fun doing it, um, and you know it's just you know make yourself at home and thank you everybody for coming. Um, I, I really appreciate everything. All right, before you go, I got to toot your horn a little bit because okay. you didn't say <laughs> I, I, everything. I didn't wanna, you know. Okay, so here's what he left out. Here's the thing, Newell is a company that you can purchase this furniture for your interior design projects, but he also rents it out if you're staging, if you have a photo shoot and you need a perfect, like this table would be awesome and that client isn't gonna have a table like that. You can come here to, to Jake and look through his place and that spot that's missing something and you can exactly. rent it for that occasion, right? Exactly, and you know, with, with this space, it's really kind of like a little bit of an appetizer. You know, it's really like, 
just really one or two percent of really what we have. We have close to 30,000 items in our warehouse in Long Island City. You know, everything, you know, is online. You know, it's easily accessible. You know, it's really a five minute drive away from here. But, you know, we, it's obviously getting warehouse space in New York, in Manhattan. Uh, you know, it really is five minutes. If there's no, if there's no, if there's no traffic, you know, it's, it, there's, it's five minutes. Like, like right now, you, you could fly right over and we could, you know, we could bring the party there. But, uh, but, but, but uh, you know, we have a lot of space over there, you know, close to 60,000 square feet. Um, but, you know, we, we, it's, it's really exciting. And, you know, we really want to service, you know, the, you know, the rental side. I think the rental side of the business is really something really exciting, being able to service the stagers, having somebody live with this type of merchandise for, you know, even if you're living in New York for about a month or two and you want to live with the best, but you don't necessarily want to buy it, you know, we, we, we want to service that now we want to give people that opportunity to live with the best but not necessarily always have to be with the burden of oh I bought this and I'm moving out in a year or two then I have to resell it all that type of stuff that's kind of what I had to deal with you know after I lived you know at a college you know I went from apartment to apartment learning how to you know buying all this merchandise and then like not having it fit in this other apartment and it was a huge you know problem I was like you know we could solve this thing you know and and we're working on a lot of different types of things we're working on a huge mid-century modern partnership that we're doing with to kind of add a lot to this to this level of, of merchandise. So so it's really gonna be a full service rental company along with selling this stuff. We we do we're we're doing a lot of different things. So right so so it's 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 really exciting. You know, just like you know you know your podcast is gonna constantly evolve, you know, and, and really kind of right? expand and you know I think we're really gonna be able to do that, you know, with Newell and you know and, and the passion's definitely there to, to make it happen. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say one more thing yeah, that I more. think is really admirable about you. The other thing that Jake does is he's, he is consistently and um, with intention outreaching to younger interior designers and bringing them into the community because this is sort of like a tough act to walk into if you're a baby designer I mean exactly. you know it's a little intimidating let's be real I mean a lot of you guys work in these circles but it ain't my circles right yeah. so the thing about it is is that Jake is outreaching to young interior designers. He takes them to dinner. He'll organize a dinner, eight or ten of them, him and Chad Stark, and they'll just talk with them and they'll just mentor them and teach them about the ins and outs and the ropes and the things to do. And so I just am really in deep admiration, I said it on the show, of how progressive you are yeah. and how you're taking this company that's 80 years and you're the fourth generation and you're infusing you know your new millennial stuff exactly. i love it like, if you guys have any like you know sons or daughters cousins any little kid that wants to just come in and just you know just touch and feel you know these pieces and get used used to it um you know that's what i want you know that's what i want to educate i want to you know i really feel like this is um, a huge opportunity to meet, opportunity to really uh you know just have people appreciate these things and it doesn't have to be so intimidating whether it being going to you know some of these design things or whether it's just going into an antique store you know or, or, or any type of thing it, I've always felt intimidated and I, I shouldn't nobody should ever have to feel intimidated in any type of setting so we always want to have that warm approachability you know like I said if there's any young kids that you want to you know personally like you know show I will I mean I will personally show them the the, the you know the whole warehouse and things like that because you know you got to start them young you know I was very blessed to be around this stuff all my life um, and you know it's it just I really want to help you know creative people you know be creative and and I think you know you got to do it at a young age and and I think you know we're, we're, we're doing a lot of cool you're things doing <laughs> I really do admire what you're doing Jay. yeah thank, thank you. you thank you and, and thank you again thank you awesome yeah. thanks buddy yeah. All right, peeps, back to partying. Thank you so much. I can't even stand seeing all your faces here. It's so awesome. Thank you. This podcast is a production of Window Works in Livingston, New Jersey, your trade resource for custom window treatments and awnings. Learn more about Window Works at www.windowworks-nj.com. <laughs>